What's going on everybody? It's Caleb Moss, the Minute Admin here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create your own Salesforce Developer Edition org so you can practice in your Trailhead Playground. And I'm also gonna show you how to link that up to your Trailhead Playground. So let's go ahead and get started. First step, let's go to developer.salesforce.com. And then when you get to developer.salesforce.com, click on this blue sign up button in the top right. And whenever you do this, whenever you get here, just go ahead and start putting in your information. So I'm gonna start putting in my information here. For role, it doesn't have to be anything specific to you, but for me, uh, I'm just gonna choose administrator. You can literally choose any one of these that you want. I'm gonna click administrator, company name. You don't have to put the company you work for. To be honest, I just put my company uh, just to show you that it really doesn't matter. And then uh, for the country, uh, I'm going to put United States because that's where I'm at. And then for postal code, honestly, you can just put one, two, three, four, five. And then as we scroll down here, you'll see that you have a username that you need to put in here. So I'm going to put in kmoss at uh, my company. Dot com. And that's it. Basically, you don't have to do anything very specific. You can create anything you want and put it, put that in these fields here. And then once you do that, go ahead and click on sign me up. And it's going to take a second to process. And then you're going to get this message that says, please check your email to confirm your account. Now, I'm going to go to my email address and confirm my account and go through that step. And this is the email that I get whenever I sign up to that developer edition org. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to verify my account. I have my username right here. And if I want to, I can bookmark right here and I'll always be able to log in from there. But basically all I wanna do is click on verify account and then I'll go ahead and put my new password for this Salesforce developer edition org in here. And I'll put my security question in my answer as well right here and then I'll go ahead and click on change password and now I'm logged into my new Salesforce developer edition org just as a reference this is like a trailhead playground so I can practice all my trailhead activities inside of this org and so what I want to do here is now I want to come back to trailhead playground and I'm gonna go ahead and click on the top right my profile settings and I'm gonna click on hands-on orgs right here. So once I click on hands-on orgs, I'm gonna go ahead and click on connect org up here in the top right. And now I'm going to put in my username and password for that Salesforce developer edition org I just now created. So I'm gonna put in that password or that username, Kalen or kmoss at mycompany.com and I'll put in my password. And then I'm gonna click login and then it's gonna ask me if I want to allow access to that new Trailhead Developer Edition org, that Salesforce Developer Edition org, and I'm gonna click on allow. And it's gonna say, do you want to connect this org for hands-on challenges? And you can read what this says right here. You can pause the video if you want. And I'm gonna say yes, save it. And now this very first one is that new Developer Edition org we just created in the first part of the video and I can go ahead and click on launch and use this as my playground anytime I'm in a trailhead doing an activity. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like. I'm gonna to go to an activity and now I'm going to just basically go to a module inside of trailhead. It doesn't matter which one, I'm just gonna basically show you how you can do this. So I'm gonna to go to a module that requires me to launch a playground or some sort of developer edition org and I'm going to go to the bottom of the activity to verify do the activity and as you can see right here I have my Salesforce developer edition org that I just created in that first uh, part of this video and then I can just click launch right here if I want to change it I can always come back here click on here and I can go through a list of all of my Salesforce Developer Edition orgs here. And then just click launch and do the activity. And that's it for the video. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future Minute Admin videos. Kalen Moss, Minute Admin, out.